All right, week 10. Week 10, there is not a lot, actually, to go on off of here. Um, Thursday night, we got a couple of big games um, involving ranked teams. West Virginia is taking on Baylor. Baylor is undefeated. So is Appalachian State, and they're taking on Georgia Southern. And both these teams will be at home. These two ranked undefeated teams will be at home on a Thursday night. And um, should be interesting, you know, uh, but, you know, I don't really care to be all that honest. Um, Georgia Southern has not looked great this season. Neither has West Virginia. So I think like, both those teams will lose to the undefeated top 25 teams. And then we get to the Saturday slate. And the Saturday slate is not uh, is honestly not all that interesting. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, mostly because there's teams that are already kind of out of the playoff picture that start, you know, the day, you know, like Michigan, Maryland, you know, Michigan going on the road to face Maryland. Maryland is a dumpster fire. They always have been. Uh, they've been for a while now. But, you know, Michigan's out of the playoff hunt. And they've eliminated Notre Dame for the playoff hunt, so there's no reason to watch Notre Dame take on Virginia Tech. Virginia Tech is boo-boo. They're poo-poo. Um, and Wake Forest, they're taking on NC State. No, no real reason to watch that either. It's just kind of there. Um, Kansas State's ranked again. You know, though it doesn't really matter though. You know, it's Kansas State to take on Kansas. Yeah, Kansas beat Texas Tech last week, but who cares? It's Kansas, man. <sighs> but then we get to the real good stuff, and that's these going to be these two games right here: um, Georgia, Florida, and Utah, Washington. First, let's talk about Utah Washington. Washington has three losses, but they are still a team that can fight. They, they, can, they can do some damage to you if you really want. Um, Oregon's defense was pretty much basically exposed, and if it weren't for Washington's defense giving up a lot of points at the very end of the game um, a couple weeks ago, then we would have seen you know Oregon out of the playoff picture. But Washington's a good team, and I think you know um, Utah's got a lot going out for them. Uh, Utah's defense, though, is very, very good. Very excellent. And they can, they can really, you know, get you. And they, they shut out Cal. You know, they, they just, I mean, they lost a very fluky type game to USC. But, I mean, USC is one of those impossible teams that you can't predict. Um, yeah, so that's going to be a good one. That's re that's really the way to start the day. You don't, you, you don't need to watch the Doom games. I'm not going to. I, I, I think this will be the first time that I'm going to just skip out on the new games. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, but then we got Georgia, Florida, the world's largest outdoor cartel party. And let me tell you, Florida has looked a lot better than Georgia. I'm not going to lie to you. Georgia has slept the sleepwalk through the season. They They've lost the game to South Carolina. You know, Florida beat South Carolina, even though that game there was aided by penalties. But I'm not going to say anything more about that. But, you know, Florida's looked a lot better than Georgia. If Georgia wants to keep on going, they want to keep their playoff hopes, their slim playoff hopes. Uh, both these teams have slim playoff hopes. If they, I mean, I'm not going to lie to you. Florida already got beat by LSU. It, it got... They got steamrolled on defense, and Georgia's already lost a game as well. So um, both these teams, you know, one of them's going to leave. They're, they're going to leave, and they're going to be out of the playoff race. We're good. Well, that's a top-10 matchup that takes place at 2.30. I don't know why people are still whining about, you know, oh, well, this game should be at 7 uh, or 8 o'clock or whatever. This game should be at night. Wah. Stop crying. Jesus, there's a better game. This is, uh, some games just don't deserve the night treatment. This is one of them down there in Jacksonville. You know, Jacksonville's kind of a boring town anyway, you know. <laughs> and the Jags kind of kind of wishy-washy. But that's neither here nor there. So that game's going to take place. I mean, it'll be dark by the time the game ends anyway. So that's not really important. Um, then we got Wofford taking on Clemson. It doesn't even matter. It's Clemson taking on an FCS opponent to start off November. You know, it doesn't really matter. Auburn taking on Mississippi. Mississippi is I mean, rather Ole Miss. Ole Miss is not very good. You know, Auburn should 
take care of business, you know, after already getting knocked out the playoff on themselves. You know, Cincinnati's taking on East Carolina. That should be an easy victory for Cincinnati. They're number 17 in the nation, you know. But then we get to the – well, I'm going to skip over. Um, I'm going to skip over here and to talk about Boise State once again. They've already lost to BYU, and BYU is, in, is inconsistent as hell. Um, but it don't really – it don't even matter, you know. It don't even matter, but, you know um, – they're taking on San Jose State, and San Jose State is a good team. They've been sneaky good this season. They've been sneaky good, you know. And I think, you know, what in the world is going to happen with that game is probably Boise State's going to win that game. Um, that's pretty much it, honestly. There's there's a couple more Mountain West games tonight, but let's talk about the real games of the week right here. We got – Oregon take it on an inconsistent USC team. We'll talk about that first. Justin Herbert has been throwing the ball very, very well to his receivers and running backs out of the backfield and stuff like that. Oregon's defense is kind of shaky at times, but you know, taking on a USC team that's very inconsistent as well. Um, do we even know who the quarterback is for USC? I don't think so. I don't. I don't care because I mean, you know, USC is just kind of they're just kind of there. You know, they, they can get a big win on you like they do with Utah. Um, so I think the key for Oregon is just to, you know, don't let USC stay stay in this game. You gotta you gotta get them out of there. You gotta you gotta beat them up. You gotta beat them up. You gotta beat them down a little bit, and. Yeah, you just gotta you gotta, you gotta stay, keep USC way behind you. If you let USC catch up, they're gonna beat you. They're gonna come up behind you and they're gonna beat you, uh, just like they did with Utah. They're gonna come up behind you and they're gonna beat you. So I think, I think you know Oregon's got a recipe for success and Justin Herbert and company on that offense. But you know it is gonna be interesting to see. And then lastly, lastly is the game of the week, the real game of the week. I think this is the the only other matchup that involves two top 25 teams. That is SMU taking on Memphis. The undefeated ponies, baby. Pony up. Oh, my goodness. And it's going to be one hell of a game. Let me tell you that. I mean, SMU has receivers all over the field. They got Shane Bouchel. A quarterback, they that guy can throw. You know, I, I wish we could have kept him, you know, down here in Texas, but you know, it is what it is. He transfers and now he's got two years of eligibility down there at SMU. Um, he's got a receiver by the name of Roberson, and he can he can catch, man. He can catch, he can run, he can catch. Um, this is gonna be one heck of a game, I'm telling you that. And Memphis, Memphis, on the other hand, I don't really know much about it, even though I've seen. You know bits and pieces of their games, but I haven't seen, but I haven't seen a lot from them. You know, um, you know, they they've lost the game this year. I forget who it was against. I think it was Temple, uh, but you know this is going to be real interesting. You know this is this is one of the few times the American Athletic Conference gets a spotlight game on ABC and stuff like that. You know, they get the real they get the real big boys out there. You know, they get Fowler and Herbie out there uh, on a Saturday night. So, you know, this is really the only other interesting game on the docket, you know. And it's a light loop. It's a light week. So, you know, keep your eyes on the Pac-12. Keep your eyes on Florida Georgia and keep your eyes on this game. It's going to be interesting. Both these teams can play. Both these teams can score. At will. Memphis has a strong running game. SMU has a strong passing game. So it's going to be very interesting to see, you know, paired up with Oregon USC as the nightcap. The real deal. So a light slate this week. Sorry. That's just the way the schedule worked out. You know, um, lots of teams taking their buys. Oklahoma's on a buy. Texas on a buy. Alabama's on a buy. LSU's on a buy. <laughs> oh, my goodness. You know, Clemson's basically on a pie, taking on Wofford, unless Wofford can do something, but I doubt it. Um, so yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be a week. Let me tell you that. So don't don't even get up for the noon games. 
don't don't get up. I'm not gonna get up for those. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna sleep in for the first time in weeks. You know, maybe I can go get something done on a Saturday and before you know the two thirty games start. So yeah, that's gonna do it. That's gonna be week ten's preview, and you know just stick around. We'll have the NFL stuff up Tuesday, I believe. I should go over the XFL schedule at some point, but I don't really want to, so I'm not really going to watch it. Um, I might watch the XFL championship. That's about it. Uh, this is lit- this is literally the same thing I have with the AAF uh, where I was going to just watch the championship. I saw bits and pieces of an AAF game, but I ended up watching indoor football. I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, so... That's the here or there. So that's going to do it. Week 10, preview in a nutshell. Don't wake up at 12. Wake up at 2.30 or 3.30, wherever you live at. Peace, everybody.